What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. So I'm not gonna be showing you really anything useful, but in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the latest and greatest collection of every single bug, glitch, and error that I could find on the latest iOS 8 firmware. It's no secret, really, that iOS 8 was Apple's sloppiest release. When they released it, it was, it was just impossible. There were so many bugs and glitches, and as time went on, it got a little bit better, but it's still bad. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you some fun glitches, some ones that really do bother me, and maybe even some useful ones. Anyways, this is iOS 8.4 on my iPhone 6 Plus, and all of these do work on pretty much every single device. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. So let's start with this one. Siri can't tell the difference between today and a week from today. Siri, remind me to walk the dog in one month. Okay, I'll remind you. So as you guys can see, it's uh, September 1st. That's one month from today. So I'm going to remove this one. Siri, remind me to walk my dog in one week. Okay, I'll remind you. As you guys can see, Siri doesn't know what one week is. It's saying August 1st is what one week from today is, and that's clearly not true, so... Apple definitely needs okay, to fix this one. Now a pretty serious Siri bug that should not exist, but does if you actually ask Siri anything, in particular, inbox. You have at least 25 emails since yesterday. So here's my inbox right here. If I lock my device and go to Siri from my locked device on the lock screen, and if you start pulling down, you guys, you guys can see you can get into the previous conversation with Siri up here. And that shouldn't be there. I mean, this is pretty much exposing all my information right here from the lock screen. Now, from the spotlight view on the home screen, if you guys go ahead and get in here, type in one letter, activate reachability, click cancel, and now you have a keyboard stuck on your screen. So that's another interesting one. A lot of these are going to be graphical. A lot of these you probably won't even run into, but they're just fun for me to see. Anyways, on to the next one. Now, an interesting one. That that I found. So if you actually make any uh, icon wiggle, of course you guys can move them around as usual. Now activate reachability and you guys can no longer move any, any application or a folder or anything. So you have to disable that and only then can you start using it. So next up in messages, just send a message and go ahead and slide back right after. As you can see, the messages slide through that thing. It's kind of a glitch uh, right here. So that's a graphical glitch right there. So from the lock screen, while we're on the subject of messages, if you have two notifications, just slide them to together like this and uh, so when you let go you're gonna have one of them stuck just like that. Another one on the lock screen, if you actually open up the uh, calculator any application down here and immediately close it, you'll get a black screen before you get back to your wallpaper. So unfinished right there. Another one is actually if you slide up and just get to halfway, then slide it back down. You can take secret pictures like this, either using the button right here or the one up here. So uh, it'll be appear that you're on the lock screen, but you're actually taking pictures. So interesting. Also, if we go into the clock and we go ahead and add an alarm or edit an existing one. So we go into the sound. And then if we go up here into the pick a song, as you can see, it's blank, but slide down at this guy right here or from up here. As you can see, it does expose your music application. Apple got lazy here. I don't see why this is even here. Um, and actually, if you go back, you try to go back into here, you're just frozen. You can't use anything. All right, so let's take a look at the home screen. If we actually go into the multitasking pane, slide this guy either up or down, click the home button, and your display should freak out. You'll get different effects depending on how bad you slide it down, as you can see right there. So interesting. Now, on your home screen, if you actually slide in between, pages and take a screenshot, your device will be stuck on a white screen. So it could be useful as a flashlight if you uh, need that. And the same thing on multitasking pane, if you just take a screenshot in between here, as you can see, it sticks. So if you're in the multitasking pane and you slide up on an app, go ahead and slide down on one at the same time. Depending on how far you slide it down, it'll stick just like that. So go ahead and slide this one up and it bounces. So really interesting. Go ahead and do that. And you can do that to multiples as well. So if you want to go ahead and slide on these, as you can see, they'll stick in funny places. Now, if you're inside of a folder with two pages, go ahead and click home button on when you're on the second page and tap right below it and you'll get this weird effect on your device. So again, there you go. Now take a look at the corner down here on the bottom left of the folder. When it opens, as you can see, it expands and closes in a very, very clunky manner. This has been around from the very first iOS 8 firmware. Apple really hasn't uh, taken to fixing that and it's really annoying. So it's just a clunky animation. Now here's a really interesting one on iPad. So pretty much just get the background from your actual home screen onto your lock screen by doing this. So slide, rotate, and slide back. And as you can see, you'll get the background from your home screen which wasn't on your lock screen. 
So guys, that's just about it. Just wanted to show you some interesting little bugs and glitches I found in iOS 8.4. And surprisingly, Apple really, really messed up with iOS 8. It's been a disaster from the beginning. So let's hope that iOS 9 will do a lot better. It'll be more stable from the beginning because I mean, most of these you won't even encounter, but in general, it's been a buggy mess. And I really hope Apple fixes that by the time iOS 9 rolls around. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Just wanted to do something a little bit different. Be sure to check out the nested folders and uh, make apps disappear appear glitch that I have posted up there as well. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video guys. Have a great day. Peace.